What is up, dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to Hardcore RuneScape, where you'll notice I'm doing a little bit of magic training. For good reason! We got an obsidian cape! Hell yeah! <laughs> So the first things first, we did obviously get the obsidian cape, which is amazing. I had about 27,000 uh, air and mind ruins, and I was planning on just wasting them all here while we trained magic. I believe we got something like 9 levels so far, and we've only gotten through maybe a third of them. So that's not bad at all. However, the fact that we got this cape makes this 100% worth it. At first, I was like, eh. It's kind of tedious, I'm not going to record or stream any of this, it's going to take me like a day and a half to get through them. And then we got this shit. <laughs> so that's fucking awesome. I'm going to keep doing this off camera and hopefully we get the shield, but the obsidian shield to be specific. I'm not certain if we'll do that anytime soon and I'm sure as hell not going to stream this for four to five hours trying to get it because it's a very, very unlikely chance. So, what are we doing today? Why the hell am I starting this episode in the Tassahar, or however the hell you say it, the cave down here, the lava cave? <laughs> uh, well, to be honest, I just wanted to show off this obsidian cape, and what we're really doing today is working on achievement guides, or achievement diaries, I should say. Oh, I got a frog creeping up in my throat. Um, but specifically, we need to work on, hopefully this doesn't stop my attack, eh, uh, cool. Uh, we want to work on Lumbridge and Draenor today, and the only reason I haven't done this before, I was going to do it on stream before the stream cut out the last time, uh, but we didn't have a water talisman. I was about to say water rune, and we have plenty of those. I didn't have a water talisman, so we can't make water runes, and I wasn't able to complete the achievement diary. So we need to do that today. What I'm hoping we can tackle in the next episode is the Ardong Achievement Diary, or Ardong, or Ardong, or whatever the fuck the city's name, Ardi. <laughs> uh, I need to get that one done. We did already complete the quest for it. Let me look down here. We completed Biohazard, and we completed Plague City. I did those on stream. And I'll try to edit and upload that stream. YouTube was having some weird issues that night. And that's why I didn't get to these achievement diaries specifically. I hope we kill this guy soon. Um, past that, I figured we just do it in episodes. We can do one of these in each episode and then get back to questing and have some fun. We can always do skilling and slayer training and shit like that in streams. And have a little bit more interactivity while I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Past that... Let's get on to this episode, and I will meet you guys in Lumbridge when I finally kill this bastard. So on to the actual achievement diary. What do we have to do? I believe we've completed a few of these already. Uh, slay a cave bug beneath the swamp. That we can easily do. Craft some water ruins. We can do that now too. Learn your age from Hans in Lumbridge. Ah, we can do that right now. Where is Hans? He's the guy with the red shirt, is he not? He is indeed. I see him over there. Hello, Hans. I need to get my age from you. Hello, what are you doing here? I am... Da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost. Where am I? Can you tell me where I've been? <laughs> Can you tell me how long I've been here? Out of curiosity. Ah, I see all the newcomers arriving in Lumbridge. Fresh-faced and eager for adventure. I remember you. You spent five days, 14 hours, five minutes in the world since you arrived 19 days ago. Man, that makes me feel bad. <laughs> yeah, I put a lot of stuff into this game. But hey, look, we got our first achievement diary. Da -da -da -da. Now, what is our next one? Kill a zombie and drain our sewers. That'll be easy. Catch some anchovies in Al Karid. We can do that too. Bake some bread on the Lumbridge kitchen range. Hmm. I wonder, do we. Oh, no, we don't. Let's. I guess we could start off with that. Enter the ham hideout. We could do that too. I think that's what we'll do. So we'll head off to the ham hideout first, and also in this direction, I believe there is the sewers. I'm not exactly sure where you enter the Lumbridge sewers, I think? That you do... I'm completely stuttering on my words here because I'm trying to remember so hard. Utmost concentration. Uh, concentrate. <laughs> Just like orange juice from concentrate. Uh... I don't remember exactly where the sewers are. I think 
since that's Lumbridge and Draenor, that might be the Easter Bunny sewers or whatever. Oh, we have to pick the lock. I forgot about that. Well, we have a very high thieving level. I hope we can pick the lock quickly. Cool, we did. Climb down the trap door. Da -da -da -da, we've got another one. Wow, that was really simple. Go back up and off from here. But like I was saying, I believe that the sewers are over here in Draenor. It's not the Easter Bunny, because the Easter Bunny, I think, is going on right now, and that's in, like, Falador or something like that. I think it's a Christmas thing with uh, the elves or some random-ass event. I can't remember. It's been so long since I played the holiday events in RuneScape. I just, to be honest, it's not that interesting to me. Uh, let's run up here. Not to say they're not good, they get you some pretty cool items if you're into the whole fashionscape thing, but I'm not. So, is this it? Are these the quote-unquote sewers? You open the trap door. I have to admit, I'm kind of scared to go down here. I think these are indeed, so let's kill a zombie. Are you weak to water blasts by any chance, or are you more weak to a ruin sword? Probably a ruin sword. Let's just, sl yeah. <laughs> Hit you with an 11 right off the bat. That'll be much easier. Smack! Are we gonna get another one? Ta-da! We got another achievement dire, and we got a guam leaf. Hell yeah, that's pretty cool. Don't really need the bones, but might as well bury them too. And on we go! So I'm thinking from here we can run off back towards Lumbridge, but we might want to grab a pot from the general store. Actually, you know what? I might have one in my bank, and the bank's closer than the general store is. So let's run down here real quick. Double check just in case. Has my music been off this entire time? It has indeed. I apologize about that. And now it's going to be loud as fuck because I didn't change anything. Um, well, it's a good thing I've been talking through this whole episode. Let's... Uh-oh. Let me give a brief moment to jump cut. Alrighty, let me grab this pot real quick. I'm trying to think how I could fix that. I was taking just a brief moment to think. Normally, I don't forget to do the uh, audio check before I do a recording, but to be perfectly frank, I'm a little flustered today, and I haven't recorded in two days, so I completely forgot. However, I think I can probably overlay some audio I have backlogged onto there, so it might not be completely awkward. I know I have a tendency of talking for a long period of time, which is pretty damn good in this tendency, if you're talking more than you need to, then you really have no silent spots, which is awesome when you're trying to record shit for other people. Speaking of, let's get back to this recording. Um, let me open this gate. I'm going on and bitching about my own stupid problems because I forgot to check the audio. <laughs> let's grab some wheat real quick and then run up here, pick some wheat. It's always a bitch to find the hit box on these, like, half the time. Wow. Wow, I'm a genius. I guess I just need to bring my camera down, and you can always hit one. But from the top, I'm like, I can't get it, I can't get it, and it's always walk here. Let's go up here. Once again, I am st just trying to stall. I was about to say stumbling over my words, which I do quite often too, but I'm just trying to stall to get our agility back. Run up here, and put the grain inside the hopper. I'm glad it's so easy to make stuff inside this game. If you had to like run from here to Timbuktu to get all the resources for this crap, it'd be obnoxious. Climb down and use our lovely pot on this. Cool. So, give me just a second. I wasn't planning on doing many jump cuts in this episode. However, I don't really want to waste your guys' time. I'm trying to think if I could maybe do something in between here and run into the bank and grab in a water barrel, but I don't think I can... You know what? I just had a thought. We can indeed. <laughs> now, we definitely don't have enough run, but I'm going to try to see if we can get a level in this episode. That'd be pretty cool. Let's run over here, and immediately we run out of agility. Son of a beach! But we're almost there. I just want to talk to the Tool Leprechaun, because we can actually waste a little bit of time here and get a level. <laughs> I was trying to think about anything I could vamp about in between here and getting the lumbridge and getting all the bullshit we need. Hey, we can get our bucket here too. Uh, what did I need? I need a rake. Thank you, sir. Now I'm going to rake your little patch that's supposedly a tree patch, but to be honest, it looks like you're just trying to grow some grass, 
which I can't fault you for. Smoking that herb, man. <laughs> Farming level 13. Hell yes, we can now grow jute plants. And we got a random level in this episode. Not really why, not really sure why I needed to do that, but I figured, what the hell, why not? Let's toss that in, and now from there, I have to actually go get some water and go to the Lumbridge kitchen. So I'm going to slowly walk there and get some run back, so give me just a second. Ta-da! Just like that, we have 50 run, <laughs> and we have a lot of the other shit in our inventory. I went up to the bank just to see what we could grab. I grabbed the spiky helmet because we're going to have to go down into the swamp, uh, or... Yes, into the swamp. Uh, I thought I mentioned something wrong there, but I did not. Uh, from there, I grabbed the little small net and the ruined pickaxe, which we can always use to complete the next two. So let's fill this with water. Let's make our bread dough. And let's cook a piece of bread. <laughs> I feel like such a noob right now. Ta-da! We successfully cook it. And we get another achievement. So I'm going to eat that bread. It's really pointless, but who cares? Um, What else could we do? We have to run to the swamp. And then we have to run into Alcarid. So I'm thinking maybe we'll go to the desert first. Let's just start running off in that direction. I'm thinking we can complete two in the desert, and then we'll do another one of these short magical jump cuts that regenerates all of our run speed as we go back to the swamp, and we can finish off this episode. This is going to be a pretty short one. Uh, I'm, I guess I apologize for that. Not really, because I'm going to be recording probably four or five episodes today. I'm trying to get some shorter episodes built up and of other games. I want to start posting more than just RuneScape on the channel again, and it's kind of hard to get that backed up whenever I'm doing eight hours of skilling and stuff like that per day. So I think I may get a bunch of episodes recorded today, or at least over this weekend, and then have them to post throughout the week along with RuneScape. We'll see. Does It kind of depends. Why am I in the bank? We need to go behind the bank where the fishing spot is. There we go. Ta-da! Now let's see if we can catch some anchovies. Well, that's a bitch. First one we get is shrimp. <laughs> we need anchovies. I think we catch them with a small net. I'm not certain. I haven't honestly checked this, so I might be a little dumb. Uh, just in case, let's check. Anchovies are indeed net fishing at level 15, so we should be able to catch them. I'm level 51 fishing, or 50... Six fishing? I should be able to catch level 15 anchovies. We'll see. Yes? No? Maybe? My character keeps stopping fishing. You bitch! <laughs> you make this longer than it needs to be! More shrimps? Not what I need, but an amazing dinner nonetheless. You gonna turn it into a cocktail? Hey! We got some anchovies! Well done! We get another achievement. So let's drop all these fish. I'm sure as hell not going to go and cook them because they're not going to get as crap for a cooking level. Past that, let's run on up. Oh, we're about to run out of run. <laughs> let's do an amazing jump cut as I walk my happy ass up to the... You know what? Fuck that. We're just going to walk my happy ass up to the uh, mine. We're going to get some iron from it, and then I'll do the amazing jump cut to go to the swamp. I don't think we'll really need it. Because there's only two things left in this achievement diary, and I may be inaccurate there, but let's double check. <gasps> I am inaccurate there. We have to craft some water ruins, and I don't remember where that is. I'm pretty sure the water ruin stone is in the swamp, so that's going to be on our way too, but I completely forgot about that. What a dumbass. I even went and got the ruin and the talisman for us. Okay, well, we can definitely do that, and it gives us another reason to slowly walk our way over to uh, the swamp after we're done with this. Is the mine within range? It does appear to be, so we have 13 more run. I'm just going to waste it because I'm going to be doing the magic jump cut here in just a second. I used to do so much mining here whenever I was a free member as a kid. This is my place for gold and I think silver. I think there's three silver spots. Yeah, back there. Tink. Hell yeah, we got another one. So, give me just a second. We're going to walk off to Lumbridge, and I guess I'm going to start tracking down where this southwest. Okay, cool. So, it is in the swamp. Off we go. 
Ta-da! We have made it to the swamp, and I believe to the water ruin stone. I don't think I've ever actually used this one, funny enough. Use the stone, and off we go. Yep, I see the blue glow. Ta-da! A powerful force takes a hold of you as we come and craft the single water ruin. <laughs> Ta-da! And we get another achievement. Hell yes! So, we only have 35 run, but I think that is more than enough for what we need. So, let's run over here real quick. The hole is right... <gasps> Damn. I'm gonna have to buy a candle from you. You bastard. Hey, you... It is lit, right? Okay. So, the 1,000 gold is because you went through the favor of lighting with a tinderbox, right? Cool, thanks. Uh, you bastard. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> I know the naked flame's not good, but I don't I don't really want to walk all the way back. I'll be fine without a tinder box, because if it goes out, I think I'll just teleport to Birthrope or something. Now let's hope this thing gets his head smacked. Hey this or his hand smacked. And then from there we have to kill a cave bug, is that correct? I believe so, but I'm just double checking. Ta-da! A cave bug. Cool. So, well, they're right here. This shouldn't take long at all. And my slayer is more than high enough. Bam! That was amazingly fast. <laughs> Congratulations! You have completed all the easy tasks in Lumbridge and Draenor. Speak to Hot... Hadius? Hadius? I guess that's... Yeah. I, I can't even pronounce that other way. So, Hadius Cas... Fuck the last name. I'm... Casaintus? <laughs> I am so bad with names. Outside of Lumbridge Castle, to, uh, claim your reward. Okay, I will do that, sir. Maybe I can at least speak something, too. Um, will this guy be okay running past again? He will indeed. Let's go up the rope. And off we go. We don't have a lot of run, but we should be able to get there just fine. I'm trying to think. Do we have the ability to... Nah, fuck it. We're literally in Lumbridge. There's no point to teleport to Lumbridge if I'm already in Lumbridge. Let's just click on something like the castle and have our character magically walk around for us. Sweet. So, we got all of the achievements done. They're pretty damn simple on the easy levels, but we do need to do this for a reason. Besides getting them done, we get uh, experience lamps and we get a lot of different types of armor. The armor are... I'm, I'm gonna fuck up that sentence, so I'm gonna restart. The armor is the primary thing, because a lot of the armor types have different special abilities, like they give you double uh, resources, or they give you double whatever. Hey, hot, whatever your name is, hat man. <laughs> I've completed all the easy tasks in Lumbridge and Draenor. Quite. You'll be wanting a reward then. Yes, please. This ring is a symbol of your exploration of Lumbridge and Draenor. It can recharge half of your run energy twice per... Ooh, that would have been amazingly useful. And cast low-level alchemy without ruins 30 times per... <gasps> wow, thanks! <laughs> if you ever lose your ring, come back to me and reclaim it. Uh, thank you very much. That is amazing. I didn't know that was actually a thing. Uh, toodles. Wow, I like this guy, but I, I can't pronounce your name for shit. I'm just going to call you Mr. Hatman from now on. The ring is awesome. So we now have the ring, and we have the antique lamp. So I'm trying to think what we should do with it. Um, It gives us, I believe, a 1,000 experience on the first one, 5,000 on the medium tasks, 10,000, possibly, I might be inaccurate on that, on the hard one, and then I think 50,000 on the elite uh, or whatever the fuck they're called. So, we need to get them done for the experience. It would get us a crazy amount of experience to get them all done, and I'm kind of going off on a random tangent. What should we use this on? We have prayer. We could get one level in. feel like that would be a waste. We could get maybe three levels in farming, which would be nice, but I think there's a lot of quests that we can use for that one. Um... You know what? I think we're going to use it on Herblore, as weird as that is. Will it let me? Oh, no. I need to complete Druidic Ritual first. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, we can't get a smithing level with it. I would like to use the higher level lamps on smithing, because the smithing is a bitch. Uh. Ta -ta -ta. Screw it. Let's start on construction. Today, 
You need to have 30 construction before. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, so we need a higher than level 30. Man, they are trying. They are busting my balls with this one. Um, what could we get a level with? Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. thousand experience doesn't do shit for a lot of these, and they're not over level 30. If it does, um. Can't do it in farming, because apparently it has to be level 30. It's such a bitch. <laughs> well, this sucks. We might be able to use it in fire making. And that seems kind of bullshit, to be honest. I really don't want to use it in fire making. We could use it in crafting, but that doesn't get us a level either. Man, they screwed us. <laughs> I think the best bet is to use it on range. I say that hesitantly, because crafting, I'm already going to get up a shit ton of levels whenever I start working on fletching again. I still need a bunch more bowstring. Um, so I don't think I need to use it on that. A thousand experience is going to go by like nothing. Fire making, same kind of point. If I burn like 20 logs, it's a thousand experience, so it's not really worth it. Ranged, however, a thousand experience is something like 250 damage, so might as well. Let's start with ranged. If it's over a thousand experience, I'll be happy. 2,500! I'm happy! <laughs> uh, that gets us over a level. That's fucking awesome. Range level 34. And that would be something like... Oh, bad stoner math. Like 675 damage? 675 damage? Because if you multi... I'm not even going to attempt that. Fuck it. That was probably really bad math, and it's not accurate at all. Um, But... We got a level. That's all that's needed. And we completed one of the tasks, right? Got them all done? Yes, indeed. If I ever lose my ring, I can come back here. Cool. So I think the next one we'll try on is not the medium task, but... Do, 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 do. Ardong. I believe we can finish this one. The only one I'm kind of sketched out about is that we have to use the Ardong lever to teleport to the wilderness. I wish I could highlight this, but it's at the bottom of the screen, right above the Yanel one. That is going to sketch me out a bit, but we'll see on the next episode. Will I die? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and I think I'll have a bunch more random stuff out later today slash tomorrow. For sure the rest of the week, I'm going to have a bunch of random episodes of possibly Zelda... Or maybe I'll just live stream some random games. I have no idea. I'm just trying to do something else this week. So I guess keep an eye out for that. Past that, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. What's up, dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to RuneScape. Welcome back to Halo Combat Evolved. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts, where we're going to get some stuff done today.